Hi guys, David Stone here, and today we're going to talk about something that we all desperately need, and that is self-esteem. Self-esteem is one of those wonderful resources, that fuel that allows you to go forward and do the things that you want to do. Now, what's the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence? Well, self-confidence is uh, the knowledge that something that you're going to do, you can reasonably do. You've done this before, perhaps, or you know how it's done. You've done something very similar, and you don't doubt your ability to do something. Self-esteem is subtly different. Self-esteem is knowing yourself to be someone of value someone who brings value to the world, brings value to those around you, who brings a, a positive presence to the world and to the people around you and to all the situations that you find. That's what self-esteem is. It's a belief in yourself. And if we don't have it, or if our supply of it is very low, then we're not going to be able to have the nerve to go out into the world and to believe that we can do the things we want. Now, here's a way to think about self-esteem, if you want. Uh, and, I, and I got this from one of the many teachers that I follow, Jack Canfield. Jack Canfield's a wonderful teacher. He wrote, a, uh, he was the co-author of the Chicken Soup for the Soul books, and he's the author of a book called The Success Principles, which if you haven't read it, I highly recommend that you get that book and read it and then read it again and mark it up. But anyway, one of the things that Jack talks about is this idea that self-esteem, you can think of them like poker chips. Imagine that you and I were sitting down at a table uh, to play poker and you had a stack of chips. You had five chips in your stack and I had 200 chips in my stack. And now we're dealt our cards and, and now we're about to place our bets. And if you've only got five uh, chips, how, uh, how aggressive are you going to be in making your bets? Right? You're not going to be very aggressive at all, are you? Because it won't take many you know, bad hands before you're out of chips and you're out of the game. With me, with 200 chips, you know, if I lose five, it's no big deal. I've still got 195 chips. If you lose five, you're done. And so what we want to do is have this huge supply of self-esteem that allows us to take the chances that are necessary in life to go forward, to have the confidence, the nerve, the uh, um, the chutzpah, if you want, to, to say, yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm, it may or may not work out, but that's okay. I will still be me. I will still be a valuable human being, and I'll be able to recover from that and go on and learn the lessons and try again. That's what self-esteem is. And so if, you, if your supply of it is very, very low, you're going to really hold back from trying things that you might otherwise try. And that would be such a shame. So what we want to do is build up our self-esteem at every possible opportunity. Now, how do you do that? Well, the way you do that is by recognizing and acknowledging yourself to be as, as the valuable human being that you are. And the way we do that is by acknowledging the things that we do well. Every single day, you do things that are remarkable. You have tremendous victories. You have wins all the time. The problem, though, is that uh, if all we ever focus on is the things that go wrong or the things that aren't working properly, we get this skewed picture of ourselves as, as someone who, who fails all the time or isn't able to, to meet challenges. And that's simply not the case. And, you know, the fact that you're alive today means that you have overcome every single obstacle that's ever been put in your way. Because if not, you wouldn't be here watching this video, would you? You'd be dead in a box, buried underground somewhere. But you're not. You're here. And that means that you've been successful far, far more times than you have failed. And every one of those failures that you got, you learned from, you got up, you brushed yourself off, and you went forward. That's worthy of self-esteem. But if we don't focus on those things, 
then uh, all, we, all we see in ourselves when we look in the mirror is all we see is somebody who is not very good at things and that supply of self-esteem goes down. Now, over the next you know, number of episodes and, and on into the future, I'm going to be talking about ways that we can build up self-esteem and that, that your stack of poker chips can be huge and you don't mind placing good bets, you know, and placing risky bets every once in a while that have a huge chance of winning. And if they, if they don't win, well, that's okay. They're, you can absorb the loss. That's the, the self-esteem supply that we're going to work on and we're going to build. But today, your homework assignment for today is to make a list. Make a list of at least 10 things that you've done in the past week that you say, yeah, I did that. And whether it was cook a great meal or whether it was have a tough conversation with somebody or whether it was get out there and do your exercise or eat properly, whatever it was, write it down, a list of at least 10 things that you say, yeah, see, this is how I get through life. That's your homework assignment. Now, if uh, self-esteem is something you struggle with and you'd like a little bit of help with, then please, please, please get in touch with me. See, right there down below, you can see my email address. That gets to me directly. Go ahead. We'll jump on a, on a call and see if there's some ways that I might be able to help. But in the meantime, I encourage you to live fearlessly.